Okay, so we're almost ready to bleed the system. Uh, essentially, the way that the way this is done on the RMK is you let it warm up uh, for a good, you know, six, ten minutes uh, till the thermostat's open completely. Um, if you have flow going through your uh, rear radiators, uh, you're probably going to be okay. But uh, in general, you want to get things so that they're flowing, and it, you know, once the cold coolant gets into the system. Uh, it's maybe going to shut off your thermostat, so you need to make sure your thermostat is open permanently. Um, so you got to let it get fairly warm. And you'll tip it over on its right side, um, which is the low side for the coolant bottle. Um, that's going to get your rear heat exchanger, uh, if there's any air in there, it's going to come through the system and uh, end up in your engine. Uh, what you do is you flip it over on its right side uh, and you hold it. Uh, rev the engine up to about 4,000 RPMs just before the clutch engages and uh, that will circulate you know you do that for enough time so that it circulates the whole system and then you'll flip it on its left hand side uh, where the coolant bottle is the top of the system um, and you'll do the same 4,000 RPMs hold it for a while make sure all the coolant flows through the system uh, and then you'll drop it back on its uh, skis and then you'll crack the bleed screw while it's still running the bleed screw right above the uh, thermostat housing which is an eight millimeter uh, I like to use a wrench uh, you can use a flathead screwdriver but that's a terrible idea um, so you use a nice eight millimeter wrench um, and you'll, you should see some air coming out of the system once the coolant is spitting out close up that nut uh, shut the machine down, wait till it's fully uh, cooled, uh, and then check your bottle, and your bottle's probably going to need some coolant. Um, if it takes a lot of coolant, you might still have a problem uh, with, with engine eating coolant, but uh, I can tell right now my machine's been running for maybe five minutes, and it's still running on two cylinders. I can smell the exhaust is actual exhaust. There's not a lot of steam in there. So I'm pretty sure that I've solved the problem, uh, but only uh, a ride uh, will tell. Like I, I think I might've mentioned it before, but uh, I was eating shit about uh, half a liter of coolant every 15, 20 miles. So there is no question that there was a lot of coolant going into that cylinder.